I'm not sure how long we've been on the road, but we're at a rest stop in Nevada. Uh, we've got about 165 miles to our final destination for today, which is Wendover, Utah. We have reservations there. I just wanted to show you Cato. We never got to see where Cato was riding. We were less than five miles from Modesto this morning when Cato tipped over her litter box and we had to pull over so we could fix that up. Oh, you know, Joe's got the car door locked. He's out with the dogs right now, but this is, this is how Cato's traveling you can't really see in there joe just took the dogs for a pee and a poop here's the dogs wondering where joe is going now he's going off to use the facilities as well <laughs> and then we will all get back in honey are we going to get them more water and stuff or just get them in the car okay me there's sissy 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 is uh oh, not real happy uh, Bosco and Parker are definitely not happy. Let me just say that at one point everybody was singing. Bosco, Parker, 62, so I decided to join in. Actually, that quieted him down. I don't, I'm not sure what that says about my singing. We uh, learned a few things today. Always buy your walkie-talkies ahead of time and test them out because this morning we got on the road. Joe bought them yesterday or the day before. I'm not sure anymore. And they weren't working. So um, we are without walkie-talkies, even though we did pass by a Best Buy right around Roseville, California, but we did not stop. We need to buy new ones and or exchange these. We lost an hour, which we could desperately use to sleep, so we didn't need to lose an hour. Cato came out to eat some tuna. Then she gave us a scare. I couldn't find her. I thought I lost her. Bosco and Parker uh, Parker had a little tuna. Bosco is hiding, hiding under the believe blanket. He is the biggest cat and he is such a fraidy cat. Bart and Holly are doing good. They just had their dinner. Joe's out to get us some dinner. We're starving. I just want something green, some spinach, some salad. I told Joe whatever he brings me is great. These are the three litter boxes that were in the kennels. Um, and then I have a big litter box that I'm hoping Hoping they use. Lessons learned. I already mentioned the one about the walkie-talkie. Uh, never underestimate the ability of a cat to squeeze itself into a small space. I had such a panic earlier when I could not find Kato. I started searching in the hall. I was concerned that maybe she'd snuck out. She had gotten under the bed, so Joe had to lift the bed up. I didn't think they could get under the bed. She's a big cat but she squeezed into a little space. Ah, when we were packing, and we were staying up till all hours of the night packing, getting ready for the movers, at one point I laughed and I said to Joe, uh, this isn't even gonna be the hardest. And I think I was right. Um, I'm exhausted. Uh, just lugging these guys in and out every night is work. Um, but we're here and we're together and we made it through one day. The cats are gonna be re-traumatized every day. But I guess there's nothing I can do about that. We'll just continue doing what we're doing and I'm really glad I had the tuna. It was just open in the refrigerator and I threw it, threw it in the, the cooler because when nothing else will make them come out or eat, tuna will. Almost the end day, first day of Joe and Susan and Bart and Holly and Cato and Sissy and Parker and Bosco's Big Adventure. Oh, yes, and uh, note the bedspread. That's our bedspread from home because I thought the cats would like the familiar smell of home. And then, of course, I have your obligatory uh, pheromone, pheromone spray, which I think works for all of them except Sissy. And then I have catnip, but we haven't even gotten to the catnip yet today. Okay. <laughs> The end of day one of the big adventure.